we finally have a nice day so we're all out here playing and we're finishing up the chicken coop it's been cold and rainy and if it's not cold and rainy it's so windy that we can't do anything out here so we finally got the coop done we need to get the baby chicks out here in the coop because we got more baby chicks and so we need that space for them so I'll show you the coop before we have the bedding and the hay down and the nesting boxes and all of that real quick. It's getting kind of dark, so it's harder to see in here. But here's our roosting bars. We did that for the guineas up here. And then two right here. And then there's one up here also. And then here's the nesting boxes. We may put something in front there yet we're not sure but they're not big enough to need it and then we will probably have to put a ramp up there but we put this smaller bar down here so the babies can roost now here's the outside the front right here we left four windows up there and then all the sides are just the same. We'll cut the door on the other side, right under where the ladder is, or in the front here. I think we may put it in the front. And then we'll fence off from this front door and go out this direction where all the mess is. And then later on down the road, we're gonna put a window in there that will open and shut well. So here's with the bedding down. We're gonna leave this part open for now just to put their water in and try it and see how it goes. These boys, however, are not much help. This is hay that I got at the auction that I went to not long ago. It is possible we overdid it on the hay. We decided to come closer. Cheese. Cheese. Where's the chickens? So it might be a little deep on the hay there, but we're gonna start moving the babies in.
Scare it out from the other side. There you go. They're going crazy. Dee! He's been scared of these baby chicks since we brought them home. <laughs> yeah, it's crying because you're holding it. Let him go. No, please. I'm not stops. I don't stop. Those guineas are not fun to catch. I hope I don't have to catch them again. The little yellow ones are about a week younger and they don't have their feathers on their head starting yet, so I'm hoping they do okay. This is what the babies were in that we just brought home and the big ones were sitting on top and pooping down on them. So they're getting ready to get put in this big tank. Now I just need to get their food and water and finish putting bedding over on the other side. Now they've got their food and water, and they are having a blast with this. So we've only been doing this since the beginning of May last year is when we moved out here. And we've always lived in town and always been right next to the grocery store and just had a small yard to take care of. And moving out here, I am exhausted. So to all the farmers that are real farmers that do this all the time, you guys are amazing because I do not know how you do it. I have been working since this morning when I let the chickens out and been going all day at work and then came home and I'm about to kill my cat. Where are you at? Oh, you just fell. But for real, I give true props to all the people that have done this for years and years because this is hard work and this is something we're trying to get used to and I know with all the babies that we have that I will have to end up getting rid of some of them and they will be dinner at some point and so that will be hard for me to get used to completely. We have one hen right now that is egg bound or something is wrong with her. She's been isolated all day by herself. She hasn't been with the rest of them today. So um, we'll probably be losing another one of our big hens. And this will be the third one we've lost in the last year. This is all new. Having the hens, we just got last fall, right before winter. Um, somebody didn't want to take care of them for the winter. And so they gave them to us with the chicken coop and that's how we got them. This cat really is driving me crazy. He's always in my way. Um, but we've only lost three hens and it's not been fun doing that. So I know I'll have to get used to that part of things and I know I'll have to get used to getting rid of them and eating our food, but that is why we're doing what we're doing. And right now with everything going on in the world, I'm thankful that we do have this opportunity to be out here, but like I said, we're learning what it's like to be in the country and raise our food and take care of all the property and clean up the mess that was here when we moved in. So we've got a long ways to go yet, but I'm gonna go take this cat and get it some food or something so it will leave me alone and go in and get something to eat because we've been going all day.